Liz, uh, such a difficult loss for this mother. It was a sound of about eight to 10 gunshots ringing out in this alley right here. Uh, that was the sound that she knew tragedy was immediately striking. Both of her sons killed in this shooting and she says she's devastated because she told them both not to go outside and now she's lost both of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do because they didn't deserve it. A nightmare for Amanda Wright, the mother of 20 year old Benjamin O'Neill and 17 year old Jonathan. Both of her boys shot and killed in an alley last night right outside their Ravenswood home. They wasn't in no game. They wasn't trying to hurt no one. These kids in the neighborhood decided to come over here and shoot both of my sons. Wright says Jonathan went outside to meet some people around 10 o'clock last night near Ashland and Lawrence. That's where police say someone in a light colored sedan started shooting. Just heard like maybe eight or 10 gunshots and we just heard screaming. Jonathan's older brother, Benjamin, heard those shots and immediately ran outside. That's where he was shot too. They were wonderful sons. My oldest son, Benjamin, 20 years old. He loved this little brother. They all had so much love for each other. Wright says it's hard to understand this violence after already losing her father to a shooting when she was just 11. Her son, Jonathan, was a student at Sen High School where she says he was loved by everyone. A lot of people are hurt behind him leaving us like this because he was a real good hearted child. Now, as police continue to investigate, we're also waiting to hear if this shooting is connected to another that happened just 10 minutes earlier near Ashland and Montrose. A 15 year old boy was shot in a drive by his injuries, non life threatening. Ongoing violence like this is putting life into perspective for other people. It's heartbreaking to hear a mother lose her, her child and mm, value your life. Life is short and make sure, you know, you may build memories with your loved ones. Now, police tell us they have not arrested anyone in either of those shootings. Again, we're still waiting to hear if they're even connected. Uh, the mother tells us both these boys leave behind a little sister who she says is crushed. Just a lot of heartbreak for this family. So